Thank you. The first question is from David Staples, Edmonton Journal. Please go ahead. Uh, so they, from 2003 to 2019, they identified more than a billion dollars of foreign funding related to Canadian uh, Canadian initiatives uh, on environmental causes. But they had pinpointed, I think, about 54 million on oil sands only. So we have the number now between a billion and 54 million for the anti-Alberta energy campaign. Was it a failure to not get more precise numbers on that, to not actually come up with a final number? Here's how much it was, because we're kind of left between the two numbers. Sure. Well, the, the, you know what? The numbers were confusing to me as well. I read through the report three times, and I understand some of those numbers are confusing because I had to write them down and try to understand them. Those numbers are are confusing. There's big numbers. I mentioned in my, my speaking notes, there's big numbers. Now, of course, some of that is going to be benign, and it's truly for charities. Then he found there was $1.28 billion went to target environmental initiatives. That's when he gets into words, wordsmithing and, and tracing the documents and the funding grants using computer searches and words. That's where it gets complicated. Okay. Uh, in, terms of, in terms of this being a nefarious, any nefarious activity, do you think that just in the general sense of that word, that the fact that this, he finds that this was an invisible campaign, um, that it was invisibly, that was one of the goals of the campaign setting out uh, the Tar Sands campaign to be invisible. Is that aspect of it, in, in your mind, was that nefarious on the part of the people organizing this effort? Those funds came across the border extremely difficult to, to trace. It's money that the commissioner has proven and documented has been used to influence domestic policy legislation, regulations, regulators, laws, regulatory process. Only Canadians should have a say in that, not foreign-funded foundations worth billions of dollars in other countries.